autumn because that's when it's warm climate, so it's best to like get it around that time. And like if you get like a try to purchase an avocado like during the winter, it's not good because they'll be like really expensive and you don't want that. So tomato, you'll be using tomato. And um, tomato, like it's it's like really popular during the summer. That's like when it's best. So when you're buying a tomato, make sure that it's like shiny and like soft. So like that's good. And if it has like a dark spot, like don't get it because that immediately means that it's rotten. And onion, I'm using white onion today because that's best like in Mexican cuisine. So like white onion is like really important. And um, like I know that we don't like cutting onion. Like I personally like, hate cutting onion. It was such a struggle cutting this onion last night. Like if I was like crying my eyes out. But like a good like thing that you can use is like you can put it in the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes and like the tears will go away. Or like you can like cut it while um, warm water is running and like it'll like uh, make the tears go away. And then cilantro is like really easy to find. It's like usually um, all around. Like it's like a good like it'll like always be in season. And just make sure when you're buying it that it's not like green or um, it's not um, brown or like wet because that means that it's not good. And then um, today I'm using lemons, but I highly like recommend that you use limes because lemons are more expensive. And then like I got like these two for a dollar, but like with limes you can get like so many more and you can use them like actually use, um, make them off more like you can put them off of Cheetos and stuff. Like it's just more like convenient to use um, limes. And lemons are like a bit more sweeter. And you don't want like sweet guacamole, but thankfully since I'm making it, it won't be sweet today. Um, and then like salt, just salt. I spell this from the DC. But um, you want to buy some. <laughs> so um, make sure not to use sea salt because when you're like making guacamole, like, you don't want to use sea salt because you'll be eating it and there'll be like chunky salts in it. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to make it now. So you're going to um, cut it in half. And then you're going to like just scoop it out. Make sure to scoop everything out. And um, another good trick to do while you're making guacamole is like when you scoop it out, make sure to leave the seed in there. Like that's best. My mom told me that it's best to leave the seed in there because the avocado feels like it's still in its like shell, so it won't or well, like in the wrap, so it won't like um it won't be like like it won't turn brown immediately because I know that when you make guacamole, sometimes it like tends to turn brown, and if you leave the seed in there, it'll like prevent it from turning brown. And when you're like make, um, mushing the avocado, make sure to leave it chunky because I think it's personally best if you leave it chunky because you don't want like really watery guacamole. And you want to use like a bowl. I don't have a bowl because I live on campus, so I just got like a little container that I found. Okay, so after you do that, you're gonna um, you're gonna add your um, onion and make sure not to add too much onion because like it's better to put under ingredients than over because then you can like remove some, so you add the onion, and then um, you uh, add the cilantro, so add a little cilantro, then after that, you're going to add the lemon, I personally like a lot of lemon in my guacamole, so I really like it, make sure, like I said, use mine, because I don't really cold and then if you're going to serve it later just add the tomato later because if you put the tomato right away and you put it in the fridge but it's going to turn like really like watery and mushy and you don't want like that but say you're going to serve it right away so you add some tomato and then after that you just mix it and you have your guacamole but um besides it's like really quick and simple to make i think the guacamole is best served when it's really cold so I suggest you please put it in the fridge because then it'll be like really, really good. And um, it'll, it's really good to make guacamole instead of like your ranch or your peso con that you guys buy. It's like healthier to make and it's really fast and cheap to make. And um, it'll just be easier to make. So hopefully now that spring break is right around the corner, you guys can make some guacamole for your friends and tell them that I taught you how to make it.